What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Summer of Carnage right here on the Venom Vlog. And today we're going to talk briefly about two YouTube videos that kind of tie in to Carnage. One of them is about absolute carnage. Uh, as you know, we did like a, there was like a little short film called Breakout. And it was a little animated movie that came out when the, the first issue of Absolute Carnage came out. And it kind of showed Norman Osborn, you know, thinking he's Cletus Cassidy, being sent on a mission by carnage you know by actual cletus cassidy the resurrected cletus cassidy and uh, and he's get he gets sent on a mission to go find normie little normie osborne and when he goes to uh, the osborne estates he finds harry there and that's where the first uh, you know episode of this ended it started off with norman uh, talking to dr treadwell or treadmill or treadwell yeah treadwell treadmill uh treadwell he was talking to him and he was you know uh like dr treadwell was trying to Inst you know, instigate him, you know, piss him off a little bit, try to get him to uh, shake off this, you know, this thought he has where he thinks he's Cletus Cassidy. He's trying to get through to Norman Osborn and he's not making any progress. He's being aggressive about it and it's not working. And then later on that day is when uh, Norman Osborn gets a, you know, a symbiote from Carnage and he, you know, breaks out. They all break out of uh, Ravencroft or whatever, or at least they're hanging out in Ravencroft at first, ready to break out. Uh, but then, you know, Carnage has a plan. And so that's where the first episode was. It went off and it told the story of Norman Osborn tracking down Harry or he's looking for Normie but he finds Harry so this episode picks up right where that left off and so again I'm not going to show any footage of it I'm just going to talk about it briefly um, if you haven't seen it I might I'm probably going to talk about the whole episode of the spoilers so because uh, this will be a discussion video so I'll put a link down below go watch it first and then come back here and uh, and listen to the discussion and then join in the comments below. Um, but uh, yeah, so spoiler warning there. Uh, this is cool. It's a, it's a nice little short. It has picks up right where the last one left off. Harry and Norman facing off against each other. Norman as Carnage, still thinking he's Cletus Cassidy. And even Harry pokes fun at that. He's like he's like uh, he's like uh, you know where's my father? I want to talk to my father. And and Cletus is like he ain't here, boy. He's like you're gonna talk to me. And then he's like uh, he's like yeah. He goes my father was always weak and everything like that. And he's taunting him uh, just kind of like how Doctor. Treadwell did and then there's a side where he like he you know insults Harry Osborne he's like I'm not here for you you're worthless I need Normie and then uh Harry goes that's the Norman I know and he goes I'm not Norman and so they get into a fight and they're actually fighting and uh Harry Osborne's using goblin tech uh you know he's got the glider he's got the pumpkin bombs and he's like fighting and I'm like this is awesome Norman Osborne goblin versus Harry Osborne you know who's just he's kind of just Harry Osborne but he has all this tech at his disposal but Harry gets his butt kicked big time and I wasn't expecting that I thought Harry was gonna have like a big hero moment at the beginning of this but he doesn't he starts losing big time and he gets a couple good shots in but he's losing so he slinks into a room and then he gets in there and he's like wounded and then the doors are slowly shutting behind him and then uh, you know Cletus or Carnage Norman whatever Cletus comes up and pries the door open and comes into the room he's like yeah you can't hide from me he's like uh he goes i knew about this like secret area and he goes oh so there is a part of my father in there still and he goes good he's like well it's time to flush him out and then he puts earbuds in and you find out that the room they're in has sonic like big speakers on each wall and he just blasts it and hits carnage with it and carnage or norman falls to the ground he's screaming he's like oh no and he's like you know he's like no this can't happen and harry's like see you around dad and then he slinks out you know the back or whatever so harry does get away at the end of this and but norman also uh breaks away too he, he shuts off the the speakers he you know uses a symbiote one of the kind of in the venom movie style a piece comes out of his back and slams into the speaker and smashes it i was like oh that's pretty cool like nice little nod there to the venom movie i think uh, i think it was intentionally to be a nod for it but it was a cool moment anyway um so yeah so the battle has just begun between Norman and uh, and Harry and or Norman slash Cletus and Harry so I love that I love that they're doing that and hopefully they do more of these to conclude that storyline that'd be so great to have this as like complimentary footage or material for the comic books where we actually have something to watch every time a new uh, issue of Absolute Carnage comes out that would be fantastic so hopefully we do uh, or they'll pick the story up you know in the comics maybe they'll pick up the thread there but either way I like having another medium to tie into this big event so I wanted to talk about that bring it to your attention if you haven't seen it yet second episode i'll put the link down below obviously hopefully you went and watched it first and then came back and watched this video because obviously we spoiled it um but then i wanted to mention another video just as like a honorary uh, honorary mention which is um there was a, a kid who cosplays 
uh, or cosplayed at least, and this woman, this very talented artist, painted him as Carnage. And so, you know, they put up a video on Marvel's YouTube channel uh, for this. It was called Becoming Carnage. And this kid talks about his, you know, his love for Carnage and Venom. And, you know, me, I could hear people talk about those characters all day. If you're a fan, I want to hear what you say, you know, what you have to say about these characters. So uh, hearing his, his take on those characters from a fan's uh, perspective is awesome. And like a lot of you guys out there, he joined, you know, the Venom and Carnage fandom during the 90s cartoon era. And so he talked talks about that and stuff and then the artist uh, who's painting him she's going on about how sure she talks about how like she how she loves art how she loves to bring things to life and, and her her technique that she used to paint this guy and it came out really great so I wanted to just share that with you um, I love when I see people do that body paint of the symbiotes where they have like the jaw like unhinged and down their chest it reminds me of that movie Demon Knight uh, for the Tales from the Crypt movie because there's a scene in it at the end where a kid his jaw unhinges and there's like a hole in his chest and the tongue coming out and uh, it just always reminds me of that movie and I love that movie tremendously uh, especially Billy Zane in that movie he's so fantastic so uh, so yeah anyway I a little rant there a little side rant but um his the becoming carnage video is pretty cool so I you know I'm not gonna show any clips of it here obviously but I'll put a link to it down below so you guys can check it out for you cosplay fans out there who uh, or artists out there who want to get into that kind of stuff this is a great video to show like two people's passions one who wants to dress up as a character and one person who can paint the character uh, and how they came together to you know bring that to life so it's pretty cool so check it out down below in the description box and let me know what you think of what we talked about today in the, uh, the little animated video uh, let me know your thoughts on that if you watch it yourself I'd love to hear your thoughts and do you want to see more because I definitely do I hope every issue of Absolute Carnage comes with one of those episodes being posted and it's just focused on Norman and Harry that would be great for me I would love that because uh, seeing it in motion and the voice acting is pretty good I like the guy who plays Cletus slash Norman it's very fun so uh, yeah let me know your thoughts down below and thank you as always for watching the show and subscribing to this channel it means a lot to me we're you know 400 plus episodes now and we're not slowing down we got a lot of content I got like four more videos to make today and I'm going on a podcast for the We Are Venomaniacs so so if you're watching this later, I'll try to add in a pinned comment down below the link to that episode so you can check it out yourself. So thank you again for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and we'll see you in the future. Peace.